Well, it's uh, the 19th of May 2020 and here we have a headline, New South Wales bus and train capacity decimated by coronavirus, police to stop crowding. Well, the federal government is trying to get people back to work. Indeed, the state governments, I think, in some cases, are trying to get people back to work. So how do they get back to work? When you uh, have a, a dozen people on a bus instead of 30 or 40, whatever it is in the peak, and you, you can't move the people, and then that bus will go past you. If it's got 12, you feel the 13th person standing at a stop, they won't stop for you. Trains are very, very uh, similar in a sense of only a few people per carriage. And uh, all services, ferries, everything's been reduced. And they've got a new scheme in New South Wales where they have a sticker on the, on the seat that allows you to sit there. No green sticker, no seat. Now, um, I've got to ask a few simple questions here. Number one, how long is this going to go on for? Oh, people would say to me, and, you know, I could all hear, almost hear them now. Oh, but this coronavirus is terrible. It's rotten. Yeah, okay. Um, do you know that 1,500 to 3,000 people per year die from the flu in Australia? We don't have any green stickers on, on, on buses and trains for that. Uh, less than 100 people have died from coronavirus. And then, oh, we look back historically, the... Uh, uh, Spanish flu in 1918 killed 30,000 people in Australia. So did it again, 30,000 people. Didn't have any green stickers in those days. Okay, what's involved here is getting what's known as herd immunity. In other words, protect your elderly, put them all away, in other words, so look, you know, go down the street only to get some food and come back and keep in your house for a period of time. Everybody has to go out, and if anyone who gets it, don't forget you've got 99% of the people will survive that and get immune to it. And after a while, we're back to, back to normal in life. But right now, we're facing months of this. Uh, it's ruining everything. Now, some people will have a go at me for saying all this, but I'm saying this is ridiculous, and it, I'm expecting it to last for several months. And then when it gets lifted, there is no vaccine for it there's no cure for it and they are at least 12 to 18 months away are we going to live with these kind of restrictions for 12 to 18 months and the answer is of course not i believe we'll be allowed to move about in other words travel long distances and even the state borders which will be will be unlocked which by the way is unconstitutional if you want to look up the constitution on that people have the freedom to travel within and between the states Oh, by the way, that's the law. That is not a guide. But anyway, I just thought I'd have a bit of a say on this and just see what happens over a period of time, but uh, I don't know how long we're going to be forced to put up with it.